Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. I'm Kevin Shea, alongside of the head coach of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Team, Bill Gibbons, and uh, coach off to a good start this season. Five and two. Uh, you've won four in a row for the first time in five years, and it is a team right now that has got freshmen contributing. You've got a healthy Megan Swords. Uh, who can you almost putting in for a double double every game? And Lauren Manis, preseason player of the year, is playing like the preseason player of the country mm -hmm. right now with uh, a double double in, in uh, I think, six of the seven games and just named Patriot League player of the week again for the second time right. in just four weeks. Right. Well, first of all, great to be with you and great to be back on Chatter TV3 uh, for another year. Thanks to all our sponsors, Kev, that make this happen. And uh, yeah, exciting being five and two. And uh, and, and rolling right now and finding ways to win games. And you mentioned Lauren and Megan being forces inside, but I think our guard play, uh, despite a few injuries, has been really solid with uh, Avery coming in and running the point and Maddie Smith moving off the ball to the two guard spot. And Catherine Petey uh, has been our sharpshooter, uh, you know, uh, from, from three point land. And Nicole Morris, who missed a couple games with an injury, is now back. Uh, really creating havoc and uh, penetrating. So, and Alucia Zema, another freshman off the bench, uh, really adding um, a lot of spark to us. So, um, all the girls are playing well. There's a different feel, there's a different chemistry. We'll meet our seniors uh, later on in the show. And I think the two seniors, Maggie and Miranda, are a big part of that feeling, that uh, chemistry. They've done a great job leading this team. And uh, things are going well now, but it's a long season. It certainly is. Now, we've talked about this. Uh, several times for several years that a lot of times it comes down to make or miss and right. you seem to be collectively your team seems to be shooting the ball better this year you're, you're hitting those shots what is it like what what is I know obviously if there was yeah. a magic formula you'd bottle it up and be a billionaire right, right. exactly and there's two things I, I use reference to in that and that's exactly right now, number one you're going to be able to pass the ball well and put it in the shooter's hands. Uh, that's a, a minor thing that's sometimes overlooked, that if the girl has to go up here to catch it or down here to catch it, she's probably going to miss it. But if it's in the shooter's hands, her percentage is much better. And, uh, and, and then it's just, like you said, make or miss. The, the other thing that I've been telling people is uh, all teams get along, but this team really seems to connect. I, and a lot of people that have seen us play early have seen the smiles on their face and that togetherness, that it, that, and that's not to say other teams didn't get along. They just didn't connect as well as this team is connecting. And right. well, what's the secret? I don't know. I'd be on Wall Street if I knew oh, the God, secret yeah. to that. I mean, it's just, and I think it a lot goes to leadership and unselfishness and character and, and just meshing as a group of 14 girls, which we're doing right now. Right. And I think a lot of it does. And it's no knock on any previous exactly. seniors or exactly. captains exactly. because it right. is, like you said, there's no magic formula, right. and you can't say to the seniors or the captains, if you do this, everyone's going to be exactly. happy. But exactly. there are some people that just innately know how to do it right. better than others. Right. And that's just right. that it factor. They know how to bring people in, make everyone feel loved, make right. everyone feel, and then have everyone pulling for each other. And, you know, I think, and we'll talk to your seniors, but I think it is a tribute uh, to no them question. as seniors and, and leaders that they're able to, to do that because it is a very inexact science. It is. It's an intangible. That's uh, yeah. All winning teams out there have that, and uh, making sure that your you get satisfaction or you get happiness out of the success of your teammate on your left or your right. right. You know, which is hard to do sometimes because they might be playing ahead of you. Right. You know, but it's that sincerity that I'm really happy. And and Maggie Locke will talk to her, but she came back from an injury. She's missed a year and a half. She's been working her tail off. She gets into the Vermont game. She helps us in the first half. And then in the second half, she gets a nice hoop off a fast break, timeout Vermont. And every one of those kids, I almost got stormed over uh, going to greet Maggie. And that was one of the things that said, hey, maybe we have a true team. Just the genuine happiness for Maggie at that moment. And one of the tangible things, that's one of the intangibles, one of the tangible things I think you can point to is rebounding. We've talked about mm. rebounding for years. No question. Uh, but this team right now, no especially as presently constituted with everyone healthy, you're completely dominating on the boards. Right. And a lot of times you look at the offensive boards, and particularly Megan Swords, 
I mean, but, double figures in offensive right. rebounds. Right, and, and uh, Lauren uh, the other day against UMass Lowell. And when 17, we weren't, which yeah, 17, 17 boards, and but down the stretch, she had three offensive rebound putbacks. Yeah. That's six points. Huge. That's, That's huge. That's right. There was a missed three yeah. when they yeah. were, was a four-point game or something at yeah. the time. And missed she three. She gets the rebound, puts it up and in. Yeah. Six, so different ball game. It's, it's, well, I, you know, I've said it for years. When we rebound, we win. But sometimes it just is words. We're using an orange uh, uh, plastic um, uh, in, in the in the rim to make sure that the ball oh, the doesn't ball go, in. go in. Yeah. The ball won't go in. It's a or rebounding. Or you could just hope. shoot it. Or I could shoot it. That could <laughs> either, really work. Either way, you, we've you seen that in the, uh, <laughs> in, in the in the pig game. The vaunted game of the pig <laughs> at the end right. of the season. But I got, I'm, I'm gunning for you this but year. But desire. <laughs> desire is a lot of it. Right. And well, I think I Lauren even top, talked about it after the UMass Low game that right. she really wanted. That everyone went after it, but she wanted to take away possessions from Lowell. Right. That's the Togo Palazzo. you got to want it yeah, more than you're them. Right. And, and I've talked to Togo a lot about rebounding. But the thing that the orange plastic hoop in the hoop does is it makes you assume a miss because right. it's not going to go in. Right. So you have to have that mentality that every shot's going to be a miss if you want to be a great rebounder. Right. Well, it's working so far. Plenty more to come on the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. Stay with us, everyone. With my Bay State Savings Bank mobile app, I don't need to drive to a local branch to deposit my money. I can deposit a check just by taking a picture on my phone. Anywhere, anytime. Done. I just saved on gas and saved myself some time. It's a win for everybody. For everybody? For everybody. For everybody? For everybody. For everybody. I know. Bay State Savings Bank is proud to sponsor the Friday Night Football Frenzy. Bay State Savings Bank. We take banking personally. Sullivan Group is an insurance and risk management services firm based in Worcester for over 60 years. Our company values, our family values. Committed to our clients and finding them the best solutions. Committed to being independent. Committed to our community. We live here, we work here, we volunteer here. The Sullivan Insurance Group. Committed to excellence. What you said, wine and spirits, where you'll shop in comfort, one of the area's largest selection of over 1,500 domestic, international, and craft beers. A wide selection of fine domestic and international wines for any occasion, as well as unique premium liquors and handcrafted spirits. What you said staff is committed to exceptional customer service and finding specialty items for their customers. Visit whatchusetliquors.com for monthly specials and gift certificates. Route 12, West Boylston, across from the manor. Percy's is a proud sponsor of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. At Percy's, we've got it all. Appliances, electronics, televisions, and more. Percy's, 19 Glenny Street in Worcester, right off of Gold Star Boulevard. Visit us online at percys.com. Providing our customers with the highest level of quality, service, and value. Poochie's Fine Jewelry, 205 West Boylston Street in West Boylston. Hi, I'm Rocco Diverti, owner of Enchanted Fireside, Worcester, Massachusetts. Enchanted Fireside is a hearth product store. We sell gas burning, wood burning, and pellet burning stoves, fireplaces, and inserts. We help you with designs, we do the full installations, and we do service should you need it down the road. Our management sales and service staff are certified by the National Fireplace Institute in wood burning products, gas, and pellet burning products. Come and visit us at Enchanted Fireside, 728 West Boylston Street in Worcester. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Qdoba Mexican Eats. It's Meze Greek Tapas Bar and Grill, Worcester's only authentic Greek tapas, 156 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. O'Connor's Restaurant and Bar, 1160 West Boylston Street in Worcester. Welcome back, everyone, to the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. We're going to meet the team now, Coach, and uh, we'll start with your senior class, two seniors, and we talked about it, too, that are very responsible for the chemistry of this team right now and the early season success. Yeah, they've been terrific uh, teammates and uh, loyal Crusaders for four years. Uh, uh, Maggie Locke, uh, again, has had the, 
the injuries to her knee and then her other knee and had microfracture surgery, but has just battled, 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 is now back playing and is a very solid player, a uh, Marcus Smart type of player that she'll do all the intangibles and defensively and be all over the place. And uh, I'm thrilled that she's back for a senior year. Miranda Nixon is someone else that really changes the game. She came into the Albany game and got a couple big rebounds and just uh, was an enforcer, hit a, hit a couple foul shots, I think, uh, uh, up at Vermont, and that she just changes the game with her presence. So they both know their role, they've accepted their role and doing a great job. And now moving on to the junior class too, talk about what you have there. Well, certainly Lauren, you start with yep. Lauren in the preseason player of the year. And she, the big, great thing about her is she's worked hard every year, you know, from freshman to sophomore to get better, from sophomore to junior to get better, and certainly is one of the elite players. I wrote a note to USA Basketball about her the other day that hopefully she can get a tryout this summer. She's really playing as a complete player. Um, Catherine Petey, I, I mentioned, has emerged as a uh, three-point specialist, someone that got her chance to start and has really and become a great help defender and done a great job on both ends. Madeline Smith has accepted her role of moving off the ball. She's maybe, along with Catherine uh, Petey, our best standstill three shooter. She's still our leader out there. She got the shield from Maggie uh, the other day after the win because she kept everyone together and poised down the stretch. Nicole Morris, I mentioned, has been a spark off the bench, uh, our best defensive guard, uh, really doing a great job. And then the uh, Last one is Megan Swords, who I can't say enough about her emergence inside as a double-double machine and just playing with a lot of confidence as a junior. So that really is a terrific group of juniors. And certainly Megan Swords gives you a completely different look, too, when right. you can put her in the lineup uh, right. and go big and right. go, you know, with a, with a team that's, and off the right, ball and, that's I mean, really... Off the tough to defend position. and tough to rebound right. against. Looking at your sophomore class too, you always talk about the best thing about freshmen is they become sophomores. Right, right. and unfortunately with them, the, the injury bug has hit them with Janae being out, who was a, a big factor as a starter, but oh, yeah. she, we're not rushing her back. We want to have her back for Patriot League. She's been a, uh, working with Alicia to get back, and we're optimistic she'll be back for the Patriot League, uh, but that's a uh, a big uh, missing link for us, but uh, we'll be happy when she comes back. Mia Amaza, who's worked hard as a walk-on, broke her hand two days before in a kind of a freak thing at practice. So she's out for about eight weeks, but ha has been very good also. And Shannon Murphy is coming off a little bout with the flu and some shin splints and stuff, but is now back for practicing full court and will give us some energy off the bench uh, as a sophomore. And uh, Your freshman class, obviously, it starts right we now with Avery LaBarbera, who's assumed that role of starting point guard and has been Patriot League Rookie of the Week twice out of the four weeks so yeah, far. Yeah, a lot of swag, a lot of fun to watch. Anna Kinney-esque, uh, yes. which is a great compliment, no the way she yet. plays the game. She's a gym rat. She loves the game of basketball and has been a breath of fresh air for everyone. And Alucci uh, really has been the most pleasant surprise. I thought sophomore, junior year should be in, but uh, she's come right in and playing a lot of minutes. She's she had eight, uh, eight points in 18 minutes uh, yesterday, and she's really doing a great job on the glass, too. Maddie Dembski just got cleared to play. She's a first-team All-State uh, player from Erie, Pennsylvania, who comes from a great program and is going to really help us as the year goes on. And then Kelly Petro comes from another great program, Pascac Valley in New Jersey, and is working her way uh, uh, along. So those are the 14 that uh, really are competing and, and, um, and, and playing well and playing together. How much does it help your team overall when you have freshmen that come in and right away are competing for starting positions, in some cases assuming starting roles? Yeah, I think that's terrific. That's a, you know, a couple years ago when uh, uh, we had a pretty good year, we, we didn't have anyone uh, that could press our, our starters or our ones coming off the bench. I said after the other day that we're going to compete at practice and the Nine to ten guys that are playing the best are going to play. So that keeps everyone on their toes, and that competition is, is really uh, invaluable to a right. team. Kevin. It's certainly going to help. All right, we're going to take a time out and be back with plenty more of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show right after this. With my Bay State Savings Bank mobile app, I don't need to drive to a local branch to deposit my money. I can deposit a check just by taking a picture on my phone. Anywhere, anytime. Done. I just saved on gas and saved myself some time. It's a win for everybody. For everybody? For everybody. For everybody? For everybody. For everybody! I know. Bay State Savings Bank is proud to sponsor the Friday Night Football Frenzy. Bay State Savings Bank. We take banking personally. 
Percy's is a proud sponsor of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. At Percy's, we've got it all. Appliances, electronics, televisions, and more. Percy's, 19 Glenny Street in Worcester, right off of Gold Star Boulevard. Visit us online at percys.com. It's Meze Greek Tapas Bar and Grill, Worcester's only authentic Greek tapas, 156 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. The Fixed Burger Bar, handmade burgers, elixirs, and shakes for whatever ails you. Mark Bernier is your Worcester area Edward Jones financial advisor. Whether you're planning for retirement, college, or protecting your financial future, give Mark a call at 508-755-1213. Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined by senior Maggie Locke. And uh, Maggie, first we'll talk about, uh, you know, Coach talked about you and Miranda in terms of bringing the team together, the team chemistry, and, and talk about how, how do you do that or, or how do you perceive your role in bringing everyone together? Well, we just really try and create a family atmosphere. We all talk about being sisters, and that's on and off the court. So we'll get meals together, and if you see someone struggling, you just always want to try and pick them up but we're all here for each other and that's pretty much what it comes down to. And as a senior too, does it feel different this year? Did it feel different <laughs> this year, the first day of practice, knowing that this is the final year? Yeah, I mean, what everyone says is so true. Like it flies by and it's really weird to be in the role as the oldest person on the team, but it's almost natural at this point to take people under your wing and just show them the ropes and then you watch them grow and do the same thing. Can you have fun and like, because you mentioned it's a blur and it is and it's so competitive and then when you're juggling schoolwork and practices and games and it's like a, a never ending treadmill. Do you, do you get to have fun though and kind of enjoy certain moments? Yeah, of course. I mean, there are always moments, especially like after a good win where you just stop and pause and you like are thankful for everything, your teammates, but um, it does go by fast. You just have to take those moments to realize how like thankful you have to be in your sociology major you stayed up on campus this summer tell us about what you did this summer yeah well it was really nice for me to stay up on campus because I was rehabbing still so I was researching with a professor doing Buddhism and Hindu film work and so I, it was nice to tie in academics but also stay up with the team and what did you learn about Buddhism anything that you kind of bring to the team now maybe in terms of relaxation or calming <laughs> or centering well I'm doing more of like a technical technological part of it but yeah I think I am a calm person on the team and I just try and make everyone feel at peace um, I'm not really the yeller out there on the court but I think there's a different kind of leadership in that now in terms of the Patriot League everyone has one or two teams that they that they really don't like switching on <laughs> from the Buddha you know love the world and, and put your arms around the world but everyone has one team that they always look forward to and say I want to beat just one team this year it's going to be this team do you have that team in the Patriot League well, I don't know about that, but I think we're all very excited to play Bucknell. I mean, we had a very exciting second quarter or second half against them last year, and I think if we bring that same energy, it'll be a really fun game. And do you see a difference or feel a difference with this team? Coach Gibbons talked about how this year feels different and the team feels different. Do you yeah. feel that? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a sort of chemistry this year that's very natural, and that's something that we've had to work for in years past and this year I think we can build on that and it's shown we've been more successful this year and so we just want to keep building on that. Awesome. Well, Maggie, thanks for joining us and best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. That's senior Maggie Locke. We're back with more of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show right after this. Hi, I'm Rocco DiVerti, owner of Enchanted Fireside, Worcester, Massachusetts. Enchanted Fireside is a hearth product store we sell gas burning, wood burning, and pellet burning stoves, fireplaces, and inserts. We help you with designs, we do the full installations, and we do service should you need it down the road. Our management sales and service staff are certified by the National Fireplace Institute in wood burning products, gas, and pellet burning products. Come and visit us at Enchanted Fireside, 728 West Boylston Street in Worcester. Before or after the Crusaders hit the court, come on down to Bentley Pub in Auburn, Route 12, near the junction of the Mass Pike. Visit us online at BentleyPub.com. 
after the game, come on down to Flip Flops on Main Street in Holden. Good food, good friends, good times. Flip Flops on Main Street in Holden. The Boynton, 117 Highland Street in Worcester. Visit us online at BoyntonRestaurant.com. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by the Texas Roadhouse, Lincoln Plaza in Worcester. Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined by senior Miranda Nixon. And uh, Miranda, first we'll talk about uh, your kind of uh, your major and what you did this summer as well. And then we'll get into what you're looking to do after college okay. and then the team. Okay. But first, first the major, sociology major, mm -hmm. and what you did this summer. Um, yeah, so I worked for a uh, workforce and economic development company. So I just um, worked with different companies, um, trying to figure out the best way to get employees jobs and um, train people and find out which companies have um, training opportunities and education opportunities so we can lower the unemployment rate within our area. So, yeah. That's good, but yeah. and you but you don't want to go into that necessarily the business aspect of yeah. things when you get out. You want to be a coach. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you first decide, like you know what, I want to I want to be a coach? Was it before you even got to college? During college? When was it? Um, I've always loved coaching. Like I coached uh, little kids in high school, and then when we have camp here, uh, Coach Gibbons, famous um, Holy Cross women's basketball <laughs> camp in the summertime. Um, I get really into it, um, so I knew that that's something that I wanted to go into. And then I love the game of basketball. And um, throughout my junior year and like mostly um, the beginning of this year, my senior year, I really was like, do I want to play anymore or what I want to do? But I think I want to coach um, so I can continue to go even farther with basketball instead of having to play. So yeah. That's awesome. And now do you have a preference? What level in college? What division? Where in the country you go? Mm -hmm. um, I'm open for anything. My parents tell me if you have the opportunity to go, go. They'll follow me. They'll find me wherever. But um, my goal is to coach D1. So um, I think taking my experience here um, in a Division One program, I can hopefully find something. Um, in terms of area, it doesn't really matter. I'm open. Hopefully not New England. The weather's a little too cold up here for me, <laughs> but, but um, we'll see. Yeah. And we asked Maggie this too, but Coach Gibbons has talked about how you and, and Maggie really have fostered this great chemistry on the team and that it's unique and, it, and it's, you know, it hasn't been there in, in certain years. How do you do that? Like, what is the, how do you get everyone to care and everyone to be unselfish? Um, so I think, well, we have three captains, but being the two seniors, Maggie and I have a very different um, sort of captain approach where Maggie is more like the ally and like the, she's the quieter, uh, not the yeller, I guess she said. Um, I'm more of the enforcer, but also the mom. So if anybody has any problems, like uh, they, I've been the mom since freshman year. So they'll come to me if they need anything. And I think uh, that's a big thing that we've lacked in the past couple of years is that we haven't really had that um, support system through everybody. Um, it was kind of one person, but I think Maggie and I have uh, tried our hardest to step out of that senior role and us being like on top but make everyone an equal on our team because it's a team game and we need everybody um, to produce so it's working yeah. it's certainly working <laughs> yeah. so far so it's yeah. great and mm -hmm. you know when you can take it with you to coaching as well yeah all right yeah. Miranda thanks for joining us and best of luck the rest of the season thank you that's senior Miranda Nixon we're back with more right after this with my Bay State Savings Bank mobile app, I don't need to drive to a local branch to deposit my money. I can deposit a check just by taking a picture on my phone. Anywhere, anytime. Done. I just saved on gas and saved myself some time. It's a win for everybody. For everybody? For everybody. For everybody? For everybody. For everybody! I know. Bay State Savings Bank is proud to sponsor the Friday Night Football Frenzy. Bay State Savings Bank. We take banking personally. Wings Over Worcester, right in the heart of Worcester at 1 Kelly Square. Order online at wingsover.com. The Hilton Garden Inn in Worcester is a proud sponsor of Holy Cross Women's Basketball, conveniently located on Major Taylor Boulevard in Worcester. 
Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Tavern in the Square, now open in Lakeway Commons on Route 9 in Shrewsbury. Welcome back, everyone. Well, Coach, well, first we'll talk about the, uh, the kids game uh, that you guys started, you and Phil Giarusso, years ago, December yep. 19th at the Hart Center. It's going to be with uh, yep. thousands of screaming Worcester <laughs> public school kids and it's it's Christmas for them as right. they get to see you guys play and enjoy a great day and uh, Jeff Oliver talks to them the head of strength yeah. and conditioning talks to them about nutrition and fitness and it's a whole but, day of, of education but also a ton of fun a ton of fun I really look forward to that we're we're hoping for 3,000 this year um, um, which would be awesome uh, it's great timing right before the kids get out for Christmas and it is like Christmas Day for some of those kids they never get to come to college they never get to come to a college basketball game the teachers are great and uh, Jeff does a great job talking about nutrition and exercise and we high five them win or lose I think we've we've dropped like three in a row though so we've got to change that this year and get Manhattan uh, you know in the kids game to send them off uh, smiling for Christmas and us smiling for the, for the break so that's something we'll really look forward to it's something I'm very proud of Frank Mistrandria and myself and, and Phil Giarusso started it I think 11 years ago and it's been booming Wow uh, and speaking of, of Jeff Oliver Chris Grotsky is the head of strength and conditioning right. for the football team and that was a change this year which allows Jeff Oliver to spend a little bit more time with some other teams Dave. like your team and then yep. now having the brand new workout facilities with the indoor turf field that they can do things on and then obviously the practice court, but more the weight room and the turf field. Right. What kind of a benefit has that been to you or your program? Yeah, it's been awesome. Coach Ollie's been great. He's, uh, you know, last time we were winning championships, it was with Coach Oliver and, and he's got a great rapport with the girls. We transitioned this year and Coach Shep uh, did a great job, but we, with the change, we could, you know, he could concentrate on men's basketball and Ollie on women's basketball, and he's been a breath of fresh air and uh, love Coach Oliver and, uh, and the job he's doing with us. And how about these new facilities, too? How much does yeah. that help just uh, obviously recruiting-wise, mm. one, but even for when you have the team in the offseason, whether it's going to be pushing weighted sleds on the turf, yep. indoor turf facility, or mm. just the size of the weight room now where everyone can get in and have a lot of room. Right, no no question about it. In our summer session that Nate Pine has instituted that six weeks that our freshmen and sophomores stay and can use these facilities and work with Coach Oliver has been huge in recruiting. You see our, our terrific class we have this year, and we've already got three verbal commitments for a big class of 2020s uh, already. So it's paid big dividends uh, recruiting-wise and training-wise, no, no question. We said this in the first segment, and obviously it's very early in the season and it's a long season, mm -hmm. but you've had some very, very good teams and have so many Patriot League championship teams and so many teams that have mm -hmm. gone on to the NCAAs and, and had obviously great players through, through the history. Yeah. Just your initial gut feeling about this team. How good can this team be this year? Well, I, I think if we keep those intangibles of staying together and, and uh, no one cares who scores the points uh, or gets the credit as long as we win and being genuinely happy for your, your teammates' success and all those intangibles, then we can be certainly as good as any team in the Patriot League and, and hopefully win another championship. But uh, it's good now because we're winning. It's 73 and sunny. How's it going <laughs> to be when we're down six at Bucknell or we lose a tough game on the road and we got to come back and, and play another tough Patriot League team? Are you going to still be as together then? And I keep talking to them about that. But it's, an, it's, a, it's a feel. Lisa sees it. Uh, uh, my brother-in-law sees it. My brother sees it. Uh, you know, there's, there's different things that say, and, and they were a fun team to coach because of all those intangibles. Mm -hmm. So it's an inexact science, but I like the way we're, we're connecting and gelling as a team right now. And in terms of other intangibles, competitiveness, you know, I mean, some right. have it more than others and some have it to, you know, an extent that it drives them. They, they just literally hate to lose. Mm. I just reading some quotes of Lauren Manis this year. And then you talked about Avery LaBarbera, Avery, right. you know, talk about just competitiveness because it, I don't think it, you can't coach it. You can't no. really bring it out of someone. They kind of have to have right. that or, or they don't have it. Yeah, that internal desire yeah. or whatever. But I think it is infectious, and I think both those kids you mentioned have it, uh, along with other kids, that they want to win. And, and uh, you know, we, we all want to win. And, and the, funning, uh, the fun part is the winning, you know, when you're, right. when you're going out there and winning. So uh, you you got to focus and you got to work. But when your leaders 
have that attitude, it's contagious. And, and Lauren and, and Avery, as our point guard, certainly have it. Smitty ha hates to lose and, and, uh, and all the way down the line. So um, that's, that's an intangible that's very important. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll be back you. again real soon Another here at the year underway. Another and, year is yeah, underway. And that's going up on my bulletin board about that. <laughs> <laughs> for Bill Gibbons, I'm Kevin Shea. Thank you for watching the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. We'll see you again at the Heart Center real soon.